Okay. We're gonna do a quick update today. I turned the computer down. I wanna do a quick update and then I wanna do another video about something that I just feel I need to voice my opinion on. Okay, first and foremost, yes. My degree was finalized and I had it mailed to me on Thursday. No, I had it mailed to me and it came on Thursday. Now there's a funny story that goes along with this degree. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny when it happened. The final class I needed to take was called a seminar. It's a cumulative class that basically it's the top class. They want you to pull all your resources, all your skills and talents that you've learned over the past couple of years, all the other classes into one class. I had to take one in community college and I had to take one at the university. This class was online, okay? And I had never met the professor before. We had a special program called Blackboard where you log in and you talk to the professor, he leaves messages and you reply to him and he'll leave an assignment and he'll say you have till this date to do it otherwise it's late. Okay. And you have to check in at least once or twice a week to make sure you don't fall behind. The entire class revolved around a fucking term paper. You had several assignments in which you discuss your term paper with him, pick a problem and solve it, or try to solve it. I did a, something about child um, sex offender registration laws. There were laws that say a sex offender can't live within X number of feet of a school or a playground. The problem with that is there's so many schools and playgrounds and so many sex offenders that it doesn't work. There's no place for sex offenders to live. And they end up being homeless and difficult to chase, so, but that's off the topic. The topic of this is, at the end of the semester, he said, from now on, don't come on this thing anymore in this big fucking program. He said, from now on, just email me directly through the college's email. So we did. And we would do an assignment, we would write about our term paper, and we would mail it to him. And I would message him here, message him here, he'd get back to me, he'd get back to the class, blah, 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 bullshit. Monday, May, hold on one second, let me check the calendar. Monday, May 9th. I had to go up to the campus to take a test for another class. Before I left, I videotaped myself messaging him the term paper. Entire class is online. You gotta copy it and paste it in a message and send it them. And I hate technology. And then a few days later he mailed us and says, the term paper will be due Friday. I'll accept it Friday. I had mailed it in Monday. I'm safe. I get all my grades. They're all A's at 1A and 3A minuses and I'm holding out for his grade and then on a Friday, you ready for this? I get my grade, you know what my grade is? F let me tell you something right now I almost fucking knocked these concrete walls down I called the college, I said what the fuck is going on here? well I didn't say it like that but I was very very upset and the college said you have to email, you have to talk to the professor and I didn't know if he failed me because he was a dick. I didn't know what the problem was. I didn't know what was going on. He said, you have to email the professor and talk to him and say what the fuck is going on. Because I was online every single day. I messaged all my assignments. I was constantly in contact with him. I said, even if I gave you the worst term paper in the world, I should still get at least a D minus and pass with a fucking 60. But, and if the professor doesn't want to change your grade, you have to go to the curriculum chairwoman, who I don't know. I, she's she just became the curriculum show and I never had her in a class. I think I might have seen her once talking to the professor, but I don't know. You gotta go to the curriculum chairwoman and ask her to change your grade. Now, she has to go against her professor to change your grade. And you better have a damn good case for that one, boy. Or, if she doesn't change your grade, you have to wait until August, August, this is May, and she's saying wait until August, to sit down and have a full-fledged hearing with the college. You have to have uh, administrators and college professors, and you have to plead your case to him and to them, and he has to be there 
and he gets to respond to you, and I'm like, what the fuck have I gotten myself into, boy? So I look at my college, this is my college email, not my home email. There's nothing in my sent box. So I, this is Friday, now this is a Friday, it's like the Friday, not that, that week, but the next week. This is like middle of May. I go on my home email, and I email the professor, and I said, did you even get my fucking, did you even get my term paper? He said, no, I didn't. Holy shit. Okay, now two things, okay, first and foremost, any professor I ever had in my entire life, if I didn't hand in a homework assignment that was worth 1% of my grade, they would have called the hospitals. If I ever worked a job my entire life and I was more than two minutes late to work, my boss would, would, would call the hospitals because I am the type of guy, when I tell you I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. This term paper was worth 45% of my fucking grade. The other 55% was just checking in and talking to the professor all friggin' semester. So at one point, he could have at least sent me a message saying, these are the people I did not get term papers from, they better give them in. And I would have got that message on the college thing because I was able to get email to me on the college site but not send it out. Okay? So, he could have done that. That was the mistake that he made. Now, talking about the mistake that I made, I should have sent it from the college's email and my email. If I did that, if I sent it from my personal email first, not that fucking college bullshit, I would have never had this problem. Let me check my time. Okay? So, I made a fuck up, he made a fuck up, my fuck up was bigger than his fuck up, much bigger. So, the fault falls to me. But, the technology fucked up more. If this was a physical class that I could sit in and talk to him and meet him like a regular fucking person, I would have handed it to him. And I had a professor, a law professor, last year, September to December of 2010. She would say, do this homework assignment and mail it to me. Email it to me. I would email it to her. She was a defense attorney. She had a thousand fucking clients at a time. I would email her, and then the next day, the next class meeting, the next week, we met on Wednesdays, I had a physical paper in my hand, and I said, you get my email? Here it is. I gave it in twice. Once email, once physical. That way, you... and that's, for me, that's reliability. I physically take it in my hand and I give it to you. That's reliable. Email is not. And I would have printed this out and I would have stalked that guy and found him somewhere and gave it to him. I would have drove it to his house if I had to. I videotaped myself mailing it out, emailing it out to him because I, I wanted to make sure it got through. But fuck it didn't. Yeah. Okay, so. He could have emailed me and said, I've been talking to you all semester, where's your home, where's your assignment? But he didn't. I could have sent him from my personal email, which is more reliable, but I didn't. We didn't actually say anything to one another, he just said I'd be glad to change your grade. Mail it to me again. I emailed, mailed it four times through my regular email. Four times, once, twice pasted in, and twice as a fucking link. And he said I got it, he changed my grade to a B. So, the technology fucked up. If it wasn't for the technology, he would have got it on time. So, with that being said, I forget that he didn't message me to talk to me about my home, my project. He forgets that I didn't send it through my reliable personal email account. We keep our mouth shut about it. We don't tell each other. We don't tell anybody about it. Well, I'm telling you now, but you don't know the guy's name. Okay, I don't tell the college, the college doesn't tell me, he doesn't tell anybody, so we keep our mouth shut about that, we forget it happened, I mail him the thing, he reads it, he gives it back to me, and he gives me a grade. Thank you fucking God. Now, the moral of the story, there's always a moral to my stories. I was mad.
Because I never met this guy in person and he could be very, very critical. Man has a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a law degree, and a PhD. He's got like four or five fucking Supreme College degrees. Very, very, very fucking skilled man. And I've looked up on him online and he teaches sociology, he teaches his law class. Many of his prof many of his students idolize him, the ones that physically know him. And this seminar class, he's the only one that teaches it. He teaches it physically and online. He teaches it down at the campus, campus in Manhattan. He teaches in the campus in the Bronx. He teaches in the campus in the village of Dobbs Ferry, where I went. He teaches online. He's a very, very versed man. And this was a total misunderstanding. He didn't message me about the assignment not coming through. I didn't send it to my reliable email. I sent it to the shit fucking college email. The technology fucked up on me. Total misunderstanding. Wars happen because of misunderstandings. People die because of misunderstandings. People get divorced because of misunderstandings. So now, I messaged him and said politely what, what happened. If I had said to him, fuck you, cocksucker, okay, if I had really, really gone, gone, bana gone bananas on him, first and foremost, he would have said, well, now the grade is staying at F. And on top of that, I'm the only one that teaches that class. You need to get out of here. So, kiss your fucking degree goodbye. So the moral of the story is, technology fucks up. A lot. And the moral of the story is, try as hard as you can to behave civilized because you don't want to put your foot in your mouth Okay? You don't want to eat your own shit, so to speak, because the poison you brew today, you drink tomorrow. If I had gone off on this guy and said, fuck you, piece of shit, you fucking failed me, I would have stayed at an F. Because he would have fucking said, now I'm, now I'm keeping it as an F because you fucking cursed me out. And if you tell the college I failed you, I'll tell the college you cursed me out. That wasn't going to solve anything. So... It turned out in the long run he wasn't such a bad guy after all. I have a bachelor's degree. I graduated with honors. You're allowed to go to a ceremony and put on a fucking cap and gown, but I didn't know more than five people that were going to be there, and I didn't want to pay money for a cap and gown and stand in line with guys I didn't know, so I didn't give a fuck about that. They end up mailing you the degree anyway. They don't give you a degree there because... They have a whole bunch of degrees and a whole bunch of guys. How do they know that the degree they're handing is yours? They've had a lot of time in history where you get this guy's degree, he gets your degree, she gets her degree, degrees get mixed up. So you walk across the stage, they hand you a blank portfolio, they shake your hand, take your picture, and then later on in August, they mail you the real degree. And when I graduated high school, I walked across the fucking stage Got a blank piece of paper, shook hands, and then I had to go back in and get my physical degree. That's all show and tell these days. So I got the degree. It's here. I got on. I got. I graduated with honors. No more fucking school for me ever. I'm done with fucking colleges. There are guys with master's degrees and PhDs that are getting turned down because they're too smart. So fuck that. And I'm proud of myself. Hold on one minute. Let me check my time. One minute. Okay. You know what? 1314. I'm just going to stop. This video is over. Thank you.